Well, I want to talk to you about righteousness tonight. And one of the most important truths in the Bible is this topic concerning righteousness. Some even consider this the most important subject in the whole of Christianity. Now, traditionally, the church at large has been very strong in the teaching that we all need to be righteous, that we are weak, we cannot please God. But righteousness is taught as something elusive. That means we are aiming for it, but we are not sure when we actually get it, when we are actually righteous. No, I mean, for example, many people have this idea, we can aim for righteousness, but we can never really be truly righteous until after death. For example, you hear people say, well, I'll only rest in God when I get to heaven. Or we'll be truly overcomers when we are in eternity. Or we can only have peace when we die. So when people die, you have RIP, rest in peace. <laughs> right? Now, on this side of heaven, we are told we should expect failure, disappointment, sickness, misery, and bondage. Well, is that true? And so when we read scriptures like, and you are complete in Him, who is the head of all principality of power, the question is, when are we complete? Is it in this life or in the next life? Verses like, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. When are we more than conquerors? Is it now or is it after death? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When are we able to do all things? When will this become a reality to us? Hey, Pastor Kong, we have a lot of other urgent needs. You know, we have health issues to grapple with, finances, we have our rise and build, we have our jobs, you know, economy is not doing so good around the world, we have our marriage problems. Why do we need to talk about righteousness? Let me give you the reason. When we understand uh, uh, what we understand about righteousness will determine how we live our present life. What we understand about righteousness will determine how we live our present life. How aware we are about righteousness. What we understand, our position of righteousness in Christ, will determine a life of victory or a life of defeat. Just look at this one verse, just to set the stage and, and get your frame of mind correct. Romans 5 verse 17. Can we all read this verse together? I put it up on the screen. Let's all read this verse together starting now. And of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. The gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. So what we understand how we are aware about righteousness will determine whether we will reign in life or not. Are we going to be a victor? Are we going to have dominion? Are we going to be a conqueror? Or are we going to be the conquered? Now, the word translated righteousness literally means to be in right standing. That means we have been put in right standing with God. God. 